welcome back. Um, another batch of tools that I bought. Um, I had to break this down into multiple sections because uh, it got a little bit crazy. Um, saw a marketplace ad for some bucket of tools and I was interested in the one because it looked like it had some good stuff in it and that turned into I guess you know he wanted to get rid of it so you could have this other second bucket for the price of the one bucket so I was cool I agreed to that and we met one day on my way home from work and confirmed that he's going to be there and I'm going to make it in time and with traffic and yeah it's all good and oh by the way I got this other bag of tools you can look at when you get there I'm like well, all right well I'd only got enough money for the first thing we agreed on so we get there and I look at it and, and I'm honest with the guy and I tell him hey you know I only brought enough money for what you and I had talked about and he's like it's all good just take it I'm just trying to get rid of it so he ends up giving me another bag of stuff so probably need to break this down into this pile of stuff um, which is kind of out of the the worst of the bucket um, one was like a three gallon bucket I would say um, and then the other was a, a overflowing five gallon bucket which I took the first half gallon of stuff off of it and realized that it was four and a half gallons of just sockets. It was insanity. Um, I will do a whole other video just on that. Um, I'm not gonna go through picking through it because it took me like four hours to pick through everything. Um, so I kind of broke it into import sockets, American sockets were known good import sockets this that you see now and i kind of got a bucket i got a box of wrenches most of the wrenches were just you know nothing that perks my interest there's a few interesting things and then there's another bucket of basically just you know screwdrivers that have other stuff that have seen better days so um let's get into this um first off i guess we'll look at this pile of um, Allen keys. I'm not sure what most of these are, but they're big Allen keys, as you can see. I'm getting better at this whole camera business. Um, so there's a number of those. Um, basically, there's a handful of just big, mostly bigger than quarter inch. Allen keys. Um, they need to go in evapor rust and do their percolation. Then there's this stack of smaller Allen keys. Um, I need more smaller Allen keys. Like I need a hole in the head. Um, but you know, I'll add them if I need them. I do have a tendency of breaking and bending them. The interesting part was buried in there was this Craftsman Made in America Allen key set ball joint. Um, not super old, but not super new. Missing a not four of them, which is weird. It still has all the small ones, um, but it appears like it is a Bondus set. I have a bunch of Bondus sets at work that look just like this, almost. They don't have this little tang up here and they're different colors. But um, I probably can find replacements and stick them in there. Um, again, smaller file, just when I need more files. This big rat tail file here it's got some old end on I just gotta rip that off deal with that here's a punch or chisel 
I use a bigger one like this at work. I split a lot of cases with it. I have it ground to a point. Um, this one's a little different. Um, I know umpteen different people have different names for these things. This punch, obviously they got too punchy with it. I'll cut that end off and make it another one. There's a sister to it. I'll do the same thing and clean it up. Then this giant chisel, which doesn't even appear like it's ever been used. I do not know the make, haven't looked at it. It's blue, which makes me think maybe a das no, China. Well, yeah, I can use it for something. It's a tool to beat on. Um, let's go through the screwdrivers last. There's this old tap wrench that's seen better days, but it's got a ch Japanese tap in it. Again, I'll evapo rust that, clean it up. Air chisel bit. Those are good to have. Eat through them. Pair of channel locks. I believe they're actual channel locks. Um, again, they got to do the wrapper rust. Um, and then just some random drill bits and drivers. I think they're all Chinese. They're small ones. I do use these from time to time. I just throw them in a pile. I have a bunch of better drill bits that serve their purpose. But screwdrivers. Found this Stanley made in USA tip still good so that was nice um, here's a Buck Brothers wood chisel um, eventually I'll do a tool toolbox tour and go through my stuff um, right now I, I work for a compact construction equipment company so I do outside sales, but we can't hire mechanics or find enough of them. So I end up still doing mechanic work um, in the shop. So I have a work area, snap on box, whole collection of stuff there. And then I have all my stuff at home that I collect. And in my free time and my hobby, I do woodworking. So I have all my woodworking equipment, which is mostly three-phase power because I do deal with big industrial generators where I work um, and deal with three-phase all day long so it doesn't bother me so it's a different tale for a different day um, but here's an SK quarter inch socket driver um, that's neat it's an older one uh, here's a <laughs> 401 made in the USA Heckinger multi screwdriver. It's missing one bit. I'll clean it up. That's just kind of a cool piece of home improvement history right there. They don't exist anymore. Um, this appears to be a clone of a Stanley chisel. It doesn't have the impact end in it. I'm more going to clean it up and see if I can figure out what it is. Um, here's another chisel. I don't know who made this, but it has this angle. And from the looks of it, it appears to be factory because it is nearly flat completely across the back. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I've not, I'm not, I do woodworking, have done it all my life, but I am not an expert in wood chisels at all. I know some guys are and they eat that stuff up, but that's not for me. Um, this is uh, uh, Stanley. Again, made in America. Um, 
this is more of their like framing carpenter line I would call it um, they're not as expensive they're more to beat on and destroy doing that kind of work um, again they have their purpose um, I'll clean it up and sharpen it and it'll be a good chisel it appears that it's never been sharpened kind of has that look on the tip like it's got a factory cut edge on it can't see it well on camera um, here's another Stanley USA this is more their professional grade I guess you would call it again nice screwdriver um, little Stanley this is fairly new I think it's made in Taiwan or someplace it's a little adjustable wrench clean it up it still almost works um, just a bunch of older craftsmen it's fairly old you can tell by the craftsman logo there's guys that are experts on that it is a Western Forge um, I have a number of these this one's fairly decent it's got a little tweak to it but I can pound that flat um, here's another what's left of a craftsman this one has seen way better days there's another craftsman stubby flathead dirty a lot of this stuff is wickedly dirty um, these are interesting this is a husky and I bought a set of these for my daughter she's 10 this is a number of years ago because she wanted a set of screwdrivers well they had these ridiculously cheap huskies so I picked them up look at them and find out they're all US made um, they almost look like Western Forge but they have all of them have square shanks which is different than Craftsman, but all nice screwdrivers. I got some that look almost brand new. Um, and then there's this little Exolite USA brand, little dinky thing. It's in good shape. And then this was interesting. This is a Cornwell. You can barely see it. Um, a lot of guys like this style of Cornwell handle. It does have a nice feel to it. This has got some sort of goo on it. Glue or something. The tip is good. It's not bent. Twisted or cracked. I think CP, the tool addict, likes these handles. He did a video. I guess he was at a yard sale or something and picked up a bunch of just bare handles. So I don't even have. This is my first Cornwell screwdriver. And the last thing we'll talk about is this older snap-on quarter-inch nut driver. And it's the older one that actually has the end in it to use it as an extension. Um, so that's neat. The handle is nearly perfect. Um, so that was exciting, all this. Um, yeah, so that's the stuff I'm keeping. Um, I'll just see if I can take this over here and show you maybe this gimbal will allow me to do that that is everything that I'm not going to keep you can see it's a collection of stuff um, but that's that um, 
trying to keep my videos shorter, more to the point, pick up the cadence when I talk. Um, so hopefully I'm doing better. I'm learning as we go. Um, so I'm going to cut this one off. And my plan is, I think I'm going to talk about all the sockets that I got out of it. And then we'll talk about everything else. Thanks and see ya.